Alistair here in Bushmills, the opening of the, the new shop for Paul McLean. He's been a big sponsor for you, and you delivered last night. Record holder, history maker, hard to believe. Yeah, it was a dream come true last night. Um, to get that 16, there was a lot of talk about it and build up to it. And to be honest, I actually wanted to try and get it done on Thursday night to kind of lift off Saturday pressure. And we done the job. We got it across the line. And as you say, Paul's uh, looked after me now two years. And it's nice to repay him. Coming out here, it helped the, the shop opening. And on Monday there, we went to the McLean Chicane and had some pictures taken there in the glorious weather. So this year's been a dream for the weather and also for myself so far with the results. So tomorrow, just uh, hopefully we can have some more good results and maybe climb onto the top step and really the bar a little further. You said the hospitality marquee that when you went through the McLean chicane last night you thought that's it I have it and that's the way it proved. Yeah it was uh, it's been good to me. Um, I've done a lot of work coming into it. You know it seems to be now races are won or lost at that chicane and during practice um, I always work hard on the entrance to it to make sure in the race that I've got it pretty much dialed in. So last night I was weighing up the options. Um, I felt that I maybe had to do the work before I got there. But I actually decided a well before that. I was happy to put the head down and uh, with a full lap to go. We made the break, um, which is very rare around there, especially in that class with the bikes being so even. So we got the job done and won it by 1.3 seconds, I think it was, with a new lap record. So fair play, you know, to Kierling Kawasaki for, first of all, supplying the bike, but also to my, my crew, you know, Aaron. Work wonders on the bike. Um, I'm back working with them after the year we had in 2013. We nearly won the British Supersport Championship. So so everything I asked for I got and a happy riders a fast rider so I'll keep smiling and hopefully deliver some more goods tomorrow. Last night I was lost for words when I came in from the race. I was I was just overwhelmed with the whole achievement. Um, when I went across the line I just still couldn't believe. I was just checking the grandstands to make sure that it was actually over and I had done it and you know, it, it just sunk in on the bike, and I was full of adrenaline last night. I could hardly get to sleep, but once I got to sleep and woke up this morning, had a few radio interviews to do, and that's whenever I kind of hit home that we've done what we needed to do. Um, and obviously, to overtake the Dunlop name, Dunlop Dynasty, it's uh, it's well known around these parts of the world, and it's just an achievement um, that I'm very honoured to have. And to be mentioned in the same sentence is just unreal. Paul, we had a conversation a few years ago and we looked about people who you could possibly support in motorbikes. Alistair Sealy was the number one. He certainly has delivered. He's now a history maker, a record number of victories. You must be delighted on a personal level. Oh, yes, definitely, Adrian. Uh, I mean, yourself and Stephen Watson and all, whenever I was getting into the bikes, they said, well, this is the man to, the man to keep an eye on. And uh, we got involved. And a really nice guy, a really nice fella, and appreciates everything you do for him. And the fact that that he has now done the 16 he's the record holder that'll never go away our association with him i'm very very pleased and he, as you say he's done what he said he would do he delivered the record and we're very proud to be associated with alistair Seeley. you're bound to be associated with him because in fact you're the number one independent uh, boogies in the north of ireland he's now the number one as well too it's a winning combination paul that's right. Well, we do tend to, we, we like to support local sport. I mean, we support this, we support the football, we support some golf, we support greyhounds. We're a local company. We want to support local sport. Alistair lives in Carrick Fergus. I have two shops in Carrick Fergus. It is all building into the brand of supporting local bookmakers, local sport, and your local personalities. Like yourself, Adrian. Any truth to the river you can on the bike and a pillion passenger for a bit of a skate around the North West one? Well, he did offer me that, although I did say I would go after you, and uh, I don't think you're going. <laughs> I think you may be right, not Paul. <laughs>